You want to do a screencast, but you're not sure where to start. Screencastomatic.com is a great free resource for everyone to use. What is a screencast, you may ask? A screencast is simply a digital recording of your computer screen, and oftentimes there's narration over it. I'm doing a screencast right now for you. You may have heard of expensive software like Camtasia, which costs $300 for the, for the entire studio suite. Or maybe you've heard of Snagit, which also does screen capture, but it costs $50. We're here today to talk about Screencast-O-Matic, which is free. There is a paid version, which gives you more options, but you can do most everything that you probably need to do with the free version of Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic allows you to create up to a 15-minute screencast. You can also have video of yourself if you want that, and I'll show you how. From the main page here at screencastomatic.com, you can log in with an account. Creating an account and logging in allows you to save your video to Screencastomatic at the end. If you do save your video on Screencastomatic, it will give you an embed code which will make it easier to put on other websites, including our own school website. Or you can just start recording. I'm going to click on Start Recording. If you're on a school computer, you may get this Java pop-up. Go ahead and click on Run This Time. A second pop-up shows up. Go ahead and click on Run. Once you've gone through all that screencastomatic.com needs to open, you'll get a checkered board outline looking like this. You can drag this around. This will be the area in which your computer records your screen. Down at the bottom, you'll see your toolbar. Here you have Record. Here you have Microphone. You can see that mine's bouncing up and down because I'm talking. This is where you can change your screen resolution. There are several that are preset, including some HD versions, in case you want to record in HD. And the last one here is for a webcam if you have one. I'll go over the webcam a little bit later. As far as what you can record in your screencast, it can be anything that you can see on your computer screen. I'm going to go ahead and make mine a little bit larger. And now I'm going to go through and show you what you can record. When you're ready, like it says, you can either press the Alt and P button together or you can click down here on the little record button and it gives you a three second countdown. Now I've started my recording. If you're making a recording for your students and you want to go over your notes, you can show them a Google presentation. This is a Google presentation that a student made that I can now screencast. Perhaps you want to show them your PowerPoint. You can screencast your PowerPoint, put that on your website, and students who are absent could find the notes and go over them and not fall behind. Maybe you have a good simulation that you like to show your students. Here I have static electricity on both sides of the balloon. If I lean the balloon toward the sweater, it picks up some of the negative charges. When I go back to the wall, it's going to repel the negative charges. If I let go of the balloon, it will slowly be pulled toward the sweater. That might be something I want to show in class, or I can make a quick screencast of it, put it on my website, and it will be there for anyone who wasn't in class to see. Maybe you have a fun demonstration or game that you want to show on the web. Here's a fun game called Who Wants to Live a Million Years? And you have to pick your species and different things happen and you can go through it. Darwin talks, but I could do the same thing. I could give my students an example of this and model it in a screencast so that they can go back and refer to my video whenever they needed to. Or perhaps you have a fun video that you usually show in class and you want to make sure that students will be able to see it at home. Whatever it is, you can create a screencast free and easy with screencastomatic.com. Now that I've done my screencast, I can go down here and I can click on pause if I want to pause and maybe change something or move something into the screen that wasn't there before. Or I can click on done if I've completed my screencast. So I'm going to go ahead and choose done. You'll see a new window pops up. It gives me three ways to publish. I can publish directly to screencastomatic to YouTube or I can save the video file on my computer. For my purposes I'm going to go ahead and click on publish to video file. You'll see that I get some more options. There are four different video types that I can choose from. I can change the size that my recording will be. I can add some notes or captions. There are some more options under advanced options if you like to look at those. I'm going to go ahead and click on save video. I'll save it as test one. Click on save. It takes a little while for your video to render and save to your computer. 
Once your video is done, it very quickly gives you a link that you can then watch your video. If I click on my video, the video will start to play. You'll also notice that wherever I put the mouse, there's a yellow circle around, so it easily points out to your students or to whoever's watching your video where your mouse was. I'm going to go ahead and close this down because I'm finished with this. And here I can go back and I can still publish it to these other locations if I like to. I'm going to go ahead and click on Done with this recording and I'm going to delete it since it was just a test. And it's also saved on my computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what it will look like if you were to use your webcam. So once again I'm going to click on Start Recording. Now one thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my webcam I'm going to turn it on. You'll see that my video shows up here to the right. It's not in my window. If I try to click and drag myself into the recording window, I'm not able to do that. However, I can bring in my, my content that I want to show. If I want to show this Living to be a Million Years game again, I'm going to go ahead and move it over a little bit because I need to have space for my picture to be drug in later on. So I'll go ahead and hit, hit record and I'll get my three second countdown. and then I'll click on proceed for the game and all this time I could be talking I could be narrating oh look we're at 416,000 years here comes a big monster what's gonna happen the only thing to fear is fear itself Darwin says so we keep going when this monster killed many of my species hey but they're making a comeback oh no it's getting cold are my guys ready for that we're at 800,000 years. Oh, I made it to 888,000 years and we died. And I could talk about why we died and things like that that happened. Now that I'm now that I've finished this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on done. And you can see that my video has now come in here. I'm able to click and drag this wherever I want it to be, and it seems too large. In the lower right-hand side, I can grab the this little red triangle and I can resize my image. Maybe I want myself to be very small down here in the bottom right hand corner. Hey, I can again, just like I did before, click on publish to video file. I'm going to leave all my settings the same, click on save video. I'll go ahead and call this test 2. And it goes through the process of saving the video again. Once the video is complete, I can go ahead and click on my link. And here's my video. And here I am in this side, in the corner. Obviously, that's a pretty powerful tool. If you're going to run a flipped classroom or you just want to create a video where the students can see you, Screencast-O-Matic allows that. And it's, and it's free and very easy to use. Now that I have the videos saved to my hard drive, I can upload them to my website. I can put them on my big campus. Or I can use them in my classroom, put them on, on my computer, and show them on the projector. The last thing is you can click on the GoPro link. For a very small fee, it's only $15 per year, you get many more options. There's no watermark when publishing. When I publish my video, it's going to have a small um, Screencast-O-Matic logo in the bottom corner. Um, I can publish screenshots. I can edit some of the video within the program. For, for only $15 for one year, it's actually a very good deal. But the free version is very good too. The best way for you to learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic is to go ahead and start using it. So think of something that you like to screencast, plan it out, and go ahead and give it a try.